Hi, I'm Al. This is a video. Good morning! Whoa, what happened? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to more Dominators. As you can tell, I'm back at the office, and I think it's kind of like a cool little thing, because today marks the ninth birthday of Geometry Dash, which, saying that out loud, does feel very weird, because Geometry Dash is like one of those games, you know? It's, it's one of those games that's like, you never expected it to stay with you for this long, but it kind of has, and the fact that now the game is almost entering its double-digit age is ridiculous. So I thought for this video, I just wanted to like talk, you know, talk a little bit about the game, go into a few things, uh, just, you know, reminisce a little bit, right? Uh, I'm still like trying to get into the habit of working again. I'm just gonna quickly breeze over uh, why I didn't upload. I was just like not feeling it, I was tired. And then I was gonna start working again. And then I moved back to the office, which took a couple days uh, because I got a new computer and all that stuff. So it took a little bit of time, but hey, that's whatever, right? But anyway, that's besides the point. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Geometry Dash and the ninth anniversary of the game. This game is insane. That's really like the one thing I can say with certainty is that GD is insane. And it's interesting to me. I, I feel like this game is very special in very many ways because there are so few games that can like actively stay this alive by community alone and still drag in new people despite not getting updates and i fe feel like it's just because of the fact that this game is so endless right like stuff like mario maker and stuff like it drags in new people but i i don't feel like it drags in in the same scale as Jump Dash because Jump Dash has so many possibilities. And I think that's truly what makes this game special in a lot of ways. And the reason why me, for instance, has stuck around for such a long time. I've been playing this game since 2014. I started in January 2014, just like four months after the game came out. And I've actively played it. Okay, that's a lie. I haven't actively played it since then. I stopped from 2015, 2017, and then 2018, 2020. But that's besides the point. That's like, I think if you take away like the month, because I stopped like in the middle of 2018 and stopped that like end of 2015 i think it's like three and a half years maybe where i didn't actively play maybe three something like that so i've been playing for like half a decade right but anyway uh this game just like continuously evolves and grows and people just keep learning and keep getting so much better it's so crazy to look at things right like there's a few different factions that you can take a look at you can look at creators you can look at players and then you could just look at the casual audience because when i think of players i think of people who like actively strive to get like better and better better at the game and then you have uh things like creators who make insane creations that look absolutely fantastic but then you have the casual player base and what i mean by the casual player base is people who just enjoy the game for what it is and don't really pay much attention to anything that happens they don't pay attention they don't care about rates they don't care about any Thing. They don't care about beating the hardest levels like the hardcore community does. They just play the game because it's an enjoyable game. And I think the magic of GD comes from the fact that anyone can really enjoy it because it's such a simple game. It's so simple and easy to pick up and understand. You scroll to the side, you just go forward. There's only one way and that's forward. And you click a button to jump, hover, whatever wave right there's one button all you do is click and hold super simple and there are so many options there's so many opportunities for everyone to just do whatever they want and i think it's like a really magical thing and i think the 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 simplicity of it is part of the reason why i feel like it's so timeless for people in a sense i can kind of like see why so many people just keep playing it like for me obviously i i understand why i can continue playing it and it has a lot to do with the community and the people that i've met through it right but for people who just casually played i can see why because uh, a little bit of a story time here yesterday actually uh, i was watching this kid uh at the office we have like this summer camp thingy over on the side here and he was just sitting there playing the game he was just playing drum dash no idea about anything he didn't know who i was he didn't know what slaughterhouse was or anything he was just like playing was playing uh, blast processing and all that stuff. He went into the editor, messed around with blast processing, changed up the game for a little bit, like removed chat, m removed game mode portals to like make certain like ball parts into other types of parts and like reinvented blast processing in a way. And I was looking at it, I was like, it's so simple. It's such a simple idea, but it's just, it works so well, right? It's just such a fun little idea to make something like that. And it just works. I, I don't know. I, there's just something about it that's just the simplicity of it and the accessibility of it to create something just fun for yourself is so easy so available and it's really cool to see and then we have obviously the the community aspect of it gd is a massive community uh the gd discord server has gone from a hundred thousand to three hundred thousand people in just a year which is ludicrous it's absolutely ridiculous how insane that is a, a bunch of youtube channels as well i i was talking to a couple friends of mine the other day how crazy it is that we haven't seen any pure player who's nothing but a player hit 100k subs 
since like Sonics. And Curse hit it. I'm pretty sure Curse hit it yesterday, right? Which blows my mind because peak and swish like peak peak and swish oh shit peak and swish when and swish was at the top of the gd world hit 50,000 subs that was like the furthest he was able to go and that was when sonic was at like the most popular he was like the single most recognizable person within the player sphere he had 50k curse has hit 100k within like less than a year and he just goes to show how insanely huge this community has become and just keeps growing and part of me is like i don't understand how we, we aren't getting updates, nothing special is happening, but it, it, I don't know, the, a part of me is like, it makes sense, right? Because this game just keeps giving, it just keeps evolving, and the reason why it keeps evolving is because of the fact that the community that is involved around GD just keeps on evolving and keep trying to become better. We push limits in every aspect. We push limits with challenges, push limits with players beating harder stuff. We push limits with the incredible, incredible levels that people make, the incredible ideas people come up with. And I also believe we are pushing the limits with how accessible we're making GD content to new viewers with stuff like Samifying's videos and Matt Mars videos that appeal to a wider audience that's not necessarily for GD veterans, but it's for anyone who finds any intrigue with Geometry Dash and don't really need to understand Geometry Dash as a whole. People like myself and Eric, we, we, we strive to like make videos consumable to people who aren't necessarily super good at the levels. Hence the whole meme of uh, Aeon dies to a part and then sits there and explains for like 30 seconds of why he died to the part. But it's deliberate in the idea that we want to make this game accessible to new people. And I think the collaborative effort of content creators, creators, players, challenge players, just making everything accessible and truly pushing the limits in every aspect just goes to grow the community. And I think, I think we're really good at it. Like I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I think the GD community is really fucking good at it. We're really good at just that exact thing, pushing the envelope and making it accessible to new people at the same time. We've finally hit a point now where people are looking at the hardest level in the game who have never played the game and people would go, holy shit. Back when stuff like bloodbath and stuff was the hardest, people outside of the GA community would look at it and they're like, yeah, that's hard. But now you, we see countless clips of people who watch Slaughterhouse for the first time who's completely irrelevant to the GA community. They don't know anything about the GD sphere. They watch Slaughterhouse and they're like, whoa, that's insane. Because when you know gaming and you understand games, you look at stuff like that and you're just blown away. And I think that's such a cool thing. And as a result, because of this shared passion for, for the game, you develop so many cool friendships and you just meet so many cool people. It's just such a nice thing. It's such, I'm so sappy. I'm so sappy. Like, GD is not my favorite game, not by a long shot. Anyone who knows me knows that my favorite games are the Xenoblade games. Uh, but I, I just have to appreciate John Rash for what it is and what it does. And I think it's beautiful in a lot of ways how we've been able to just cultivate this uh, scene of everyone is allowed to join and everyone is allowed to push the envelope, but we still have some form of friendly competition with it. There's this whole spiel of like the GA community is toxic and all that stuff, people calling other people's achievements free, all that stuff, which obviously, yeah, it's a problem. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cherry pick and say that, oh, we were perfect by any means, and then just ignore that stuff. There, there are obvious flaws within the community. However, I think where the GD community truly shines in that sense is that we appreciate new people trying the game. My favorite part of GD Twitch, and the reason why I think GD Twitch is such a great place, and the reason why I've just stuck with Twitch despite having a lot more success streaming on YouTube and stuff is the fact that I love seeing new people try the game out on Twitch and watching the community just support them. Siki is a great example of that. Siki came into the game in 2020, never played the game before, and is now a prominent figure within the community through content creation, uh, especially over on Twitch where everyone knows him. And the reason why he stuck around was because he felt so welcomed. He felt so warm because of the GD community. The GD community just welcomed him with open arms and they really appreciated how he just came in and was, hey, I just want to try the game out. And then people just accepted him and welcomed him and pushed him to get better at the game, which is really cool. And I think that's very nice. I think it's very, very cool. And I hope that the GD community can continue evolving like that. And I hope that I have this like inner theory personally that once 2.2 comes out, we're going to have like a Minecraft Renaissance kind of thing where a lot of people who used to play the game are going to come back to the game and going to start playing it again. And GD is going to see like this incredible burst in popularity. GD is already super popular. The weekly demon always gets like 500, 600, 700,000 downloads. The daily level gets multiple hundred thousand downloads. So it's safe to say that every single day, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of players play this game, right? That is a very 
clear thing to me. Hundreds of thousands of people, individuals log on to the game, play every single day. But I do think that with 2.2 coming out, we're gonna see like a renaissance because the reason why Minecraft blew up so much again, uh, partially because of PewDiePie, but that's besides the point. I do think that a lot of the reason why Minecraft became as popular as it did again was because of the fact that the updates that were brought in changed the game fundamentally to a point where it attracted old players because it felt fresh. And I think that 2.2 is gonna make the game feel fresh for people who used to play the game, but haven't seen an appeal to go back to it because of the fact that it's just still the same thing, just visually a little bit different. I think that the fundamental changes to Geometry Dash is gonna hopefully see new people try the game out and old people are returning and i'm very excited for it i think it's gonna be great and i hope that the gd community similar to what we did with Siki, opens the arms for everyone to join and that the player base keeps pushing difficulty content creators keep pushing for friendly new people friendly videos that just engage people who don't know anything about the game i hope the creators keep pushing boundaries creating these incredible incredible masterpieces both gimmick wise visually and gameplay wise and i do truly hope that the casuals just keep messing around with the game the beauty of drum charge is that there's no rules for how you're supposed to play the game you just kind of like do whatever the hell you want that's why try to see so much success with his channel is because he just records the shit that he would normally do which is just mess around with the game because he thinks it's fun and i'm very excited to see where it goes drum dash has meant a lot to a lot of people for the past nine years uh, myself included it's brought me a career i can pay for my i can pay my bills and buy food, fund my gambling addiction to Pokemon cards through playing Geometry Dash. Isn't that insane? It's crazy. And I think Geometry Dash as a whole is just a super important game to a lot of people. And I, I, I implore you guys at home to sit down for a little bit and appreciate what Geometry Dash is for a little bit. Not just be like, oh, the game is fun. I have fun playing it. It's thumbs up, right? But sit down and think like, have you met any cool people? Has it inspired you creatively to do something? Has it pushed you to better yourself through just trying to push past your limit when you thought you had to give up because you weren't good enough? You kept going because you wanted something. I've done that a few times. With Rust, I was so close to giving up so many times. I was like, I, I, I can't, can't do this. It's too hard for me. But I kept going. And that ability to like persevere is something that I say I, I have a lot to thank GD for. My perseverance comes from GD, like 95% of it because of the fact that I just don't want to give up on things that I've started. And same with my friends. Like most of the friends that I talk to to this day comes from GD. There are people that I met through Jump to Dash. So just sit down and think for a little bit. What has, if you've played for five months, two months, one week, five years, all nine years since the game came out, sit down for a little bit, think what the game has given you and tell me. I would love to hear. I, I would really truly love to hear what you guys think. Uh, this is a very sappy video. I, I just wanted to like air some thoughts that I have about it because uh, I don't know, this game is just important. While not my favorite game, as I've said, it is still a game that means a lot to me and it's an important game for me as a person and I just think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Uh, I, I want to just share my thanks to everything and everyone that have supported me and just been around me for the, the past eight years. And I want to thank RobTop for me creating such an awesome game because it is an awesome game. It is a super awesome game, really. And hopefully you guys take some of the things that I've said to heart. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'll see you guys around each green cell this day. Hi to join my Discord server if you like it. I would really appreciate it. But do leave a comment. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Happy birthday, Geometry Dash. I really do appreciate you. And I appreciate everyone watching and everyone who has watched uh, over my, the past few years. But yeah, I'll see you guys around each green cell this day. Hi to Thank you for making my day better. Hope it was a little bit better too. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, back to normal upload schedule. Take care, everyone. Love you all.